Bravo 6 going purple. It's very hard. What's up guys, this is Music Merc, and welcome back to Gears of Duty, I mean, uh, Call of War, I mean, what is this game? I don't even know what it is anymore. I mean, look at the skins that are coming to this game, man. Holy jeebus benebus, that smirk music guy complains about everything. If they add cool skins like this into Modern Warfare 3, he complains, but when it's in Codmobile, oh, he loves it. Frickin' hippopotamus, am I right? Yeah, that's a fair point. I mean, that's not even what we're gonna be talking about in this video. I finally got back on Modern Warfare 3. I did the weekly challenges and we unlocked the Underbarrel Chainsaw, which is actually what I really wanted to talk about and use today. And even though I haven't been playing nearly as much Modern Warfare 3 as of recently, I've made a pretty fun class here and we should have a pretty good time on Modern Warfare 3. This is what we're working with. We got the Ninja Vest, so they can't hear us. So we get some extra throwing knives, which I pair with the stim. We got the Med Box, which is apparently broken. We'll talk about that later. We also have lightweight boots, so we're moving fast. We got EOD padding, combo with attack mask that the Ninja Vest gives us. And then we have an underbarrel chainsaw, which is brand new. It was one of the weekly challenges, and we're pairing that with the actual chainsaw from Modern Warfare 2. Now, they could add some even wackier attachments or skins to the game, but for now, this is a pretty sick chainsaw class. So if you guys want to copy this, you can pause it, you can screenshot it, whatever you want to do. But I'm ready to have some fun with this class, man. Let's do some small map mosh pit, which is where I think this is really going to shine. And let's see what this thing can do. Keep them oh my, well, I, can't, I can't move through the glass. Okay. Uh, uh, I couldn't reach him. I, could, I couldn't get there. Let's see if we can maybe... No, we can't get that guy. I'm going to try to get this guy on the flag. Oh, yo, he's got a melee weapon. Come here. Oh, come back. Where, where'd he go? There you are. There. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe we can get this guy back here. Yeah. Oh, we got our first kill. It can kill people. Look at that. Oh, maybe we need, we got to shoot down the counter. Oh, <laughs> you can't shoot down a counter UAV with a chainsaw, unless you throw it at it. Maybe if we go through the smoke. Oh, get back here. We, we got him. Headshot. Oh, I'm going to get you. Uh, no, I'm not. Die. Uh, okay, never mind. You don't want to die. Am I the only one that knows what a counter UAV is? We're doing great, guys. We're doing real good. Oh, yeah, I guess it's too slow. Maybe we need to switch to the other chainsaw. Yeah, this, this chainsaw is better. You have to buy it, though. That's my favorite part about Call of Duty. Buying stuff. Oh, you're camping? You stupid idiot. Get, here, get over here. Eh. Wait, wait, what? Can you aim with this? You can't aim with the chainsaw. Maybe that's why we're missing. We're just hip-firing the chainsaw. That's... Oh. No, that, that killed him pretty fast. All right, so the trick with this thing is actually to just get super close to them and then chainsaw them. Like this. Oh, I'm, I'm trying! I'm trying my best! Oh, ow. Let's see. Uh, wait, what even? Sh what's shooting? What shoot? Maybe it's the helicopter, the the airstrike, or maybe the gun. Come here, you silly good. Oh, get over here. Get over I'm gonna get you. No, I'm not. Wait. So if I melee someone, is it gonna hit him with the chainsaw, even if it's not out? Oh no, that just punched him. Why would it do that? Oh, there's that. I'm gonna get him. But no, it. Oh. All right. Oh, hey, we, we finally got a kill. Let's go. Come on. We get, let's keep it up. Let's keep it up. Let's get two kill streak. Two kill streak. Two kill streak. Write that down. Write that down. I gotta just keep doing that strategy, and we'll get them all. I'm gonna get a thousand kill streak. Watch. Where, where did he go? Oh, there he is. That's where he went. Wait. Oh no, that's where he went. There we go. Great game. Can we get a three kill streak in the chat? Can we get a three kill streak? Get, get over here. Three, three kill streak. Come on. Simmer down. There we go. Three kill streak. Let's go for four. Can we get four? Is it even? It, no, it's not possible. It's not possible. That's too many kills. Come here, buddy. No. Okay. So he, this guy. Uh, let's see what I did wrong here. So what I did wrong is I was playing the game. Uh, I'm gonna get. Dude, I better get a refund from Home Depot. This thing's malfunctioning. They better honor that warranty. Bomb drone? Bomb drone? And you're sniping. This game is incredible. I love the chainsaw. Loving the chainsaw gameplay in the Call of Duty right now. Took a shot. Over Everyone in here smokes meth. Confirmed. The kill cam was proof. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna get you. Ha ha, stupid. That was the best player on the team. You died to this thing? How did you die to this thing? All right, here it is. This is the one. This is the multi-kill. Get ready for it. Just what what could I be doing differently? I have the chainsaw. I just cut that man into a million pieces and got blood all over the couch. That's exactly what we're trying to do. Look, this person's not playing. That that's how you kill him. Maybe I didn't slide enough? But was I supposed to slide more? 
Oh, he can't- wait, how did he kill me? How did he- how did he do that? I have a chainsaw! A chainsaw IRL life would just cut you up into a million pieces the second it touches your torso! You mean to tell me- oh, there, wait. You mean to- what?! He's just poking me with a dinky little karambit! And that overpowers a motherfucking chainsaw?! Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I can believe that. You know, the best part of this lobby is that everyone on our team decided to stay and fight these guys. Uh, we just lost another one. It's me and Novus. We got this, buddy. They are trip ca well, they're about to trip cap us. We can do this. We can somehow- No, we're probably gonna lose this. Novus 6. Yo, <laughs> How did his body go sideways like that? What? This 2v6 is super fun right now. This is great. We actually had the lead. <laughs> and now we're gonna lose. <laughs> this has been a great match. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Back here. Back here. There you go. Let's throw a stick at that one. We got- we killed him. He's dead now. You're done too. Woohoo! Yeah, the chainsaw, um, w it was really good. That was the fun- that was a really good final kill, too. Wow. 28 to 66, that doesn't feel like that was that good. Hmm, could it be that they added a brand new aftermarket part with the weekly challenges and maybe, just maybe- THEY MADE A COMPLETE DOG SHIT! It looked cool, it sounded cool, on paper everything should have been right there. This should have been an awesome thing to be added into a brand new Call of Duty game, but instead, there's no hope. Do you guys remember when they used to add really cool and unique things into the older Call of Duty games and they would actually be kind of really strong, you know, possibly even overpowered and broken, but they would be a lot of fun to use and they were really enticing to try to go after? I know I do, but this chainsaw- what is this? I was grinding for seven days straight to unlock this attachment, and I finally got it, and it's just not good. Oh, wait. Is it because it's free? Like, I didn't have to pay for this thing. Wait, 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 wait. Are you hinting at the idea that they could have added this into the game because it looks really cool and it sounds cool, and it could get people to want to get on the game and actually play it? Only to get on the game, unlock it, and find out it's bad because it doesn't cost money to get. Therefore, there's no incentive for them to actually make it good in the game. Nah, they couldn't possibly do that. This game's just a small indie project made by a couple of devs, and they don't really care about profits. Customer and player satisfaction is king, just like P. Yee. You guys remember that skill-based matchmaking post, right? <laughs> we can blindly trust them 100%. And to any of you haters out there who doubt Call of Duty's trustworthiness, leave the multi-billion dollar company alone. <laughs> they have feelings too. I'm gonna fight to the death to defend these mediocre attachments. Once I can actually reach an enemy. Come here, you hater! Oh. Okay, that's enough goofing around. That's enough satire. I think you guys get the point. They added the brand new chainsaw attachment, and honestly, it's it's ass. It's so bad. Almost everything else in the game can counter this thing so hard. There's almost no point to using it or going to get it unlocked. I really think shipment might be one of the only maps where it's viable because you can get that close to people so quickly. But even then, you'll get lobbies where people are just camping over here. You won't even be able to reach them. I mean, look, what what is that aim assist? Like, it's trying to guide me into a kill, but it can't even do it. It's just so pathetically bad. When I saw the Season 2 announcement and I saw the chainsaw, this is what I was most excited for. It looked and sounded so cool. And unfortunately, like a lot of the aftermarket parts they've dropped into this game so far, they've just been massive letdowns. They've been disappointing. And on a more serious note, I don't get why they wouldn't want to make these things actually fun to use. Like, make them strong, make them viable. From the player's perspective, we're pouring in a lot of time doing these challenges, getting on the game to unlock these things, and it's just a big waste of our time. It's a giant fuck you. And if they keep adding these things to the game and they keep trying to hype the game up, with them, only for them to turn out to be garbage, then we're just not gonna care anymore. Like, no one's going to care. I'm already in that mindset of not really caring to unlock the aftermarket parts because almost all of them have just been garbage. I would much rather them add these aftermarket parts and have them be a little too strong or a little busted. That way we could actually have some fun with the damn game. And if the community gives you feedback that these attachments are broken or overpowered, then maybe you could, you know, tweak them. Maybe pull back a little bit. Shotguns. What's with the shotguns? Who uses a shotgun on shipment? What's with the shotguns on the ship? The shotguns, yeah. I went 14 to 38 using the chainsaw. <laughs> Great new attachment! I'm having a Baja Blast right now. You know what doesn't help matters is the fact that no one I'm playing against is playing this way as well. Pretty much every lobby I've been playing recently has just been nothing but people sweating with the two new guns that were added. And they ain't using the chainsaw attachment, no! They are jumping and sliding all over the place, just spraying everyone down with the new guns. Honestly, at this point, man, expecting these aftermarket parts to do anything useful is like taking the biggest hit of hopium ever. Even Snoop Dogg wouldn't be able to hit it, man. He would also just pass out. He would die. Like, what is that?! Where's the range? Where's the damage? It's a fucking chainsaw! It looks like I'm running at someone with a vibrating hot dog! <laughs> it's clearly not meant for killing someone, if you know what I mean. This is the dumbest thing I've seen in a Call of Duty game. It was supposed to be cool. But now that I'm thinking about it in a different way, I don't know how to f feel about it. <laughs>
<laughs> this thing is shit. It's just terrible. I am this close. I don't know if you can see that. I'm that close to throwing in the towel completely with these aftermarket parts. I'm done caring. Watch the next attachment of the week be a red dot site. If it is, I'm going to lose it. I can't handle these garbage attachments anymore. I'm literally getting out punched. What is he even using? That the hell another amazing win! Killed by Squidward. I went two to seventeen. If even one of you comments skill issue, I swear to God, I dare you to get on this game, unlock the attachment, and do well with it. Please, someone do it. I don't know what to tell you. I'm not a skill issue. The attachment itself is a skill issue. No amount of skill is going to make you good with this thing because it's just trash. If you're playing any lobby against someone who's half decent, this thing is not going to work against them. So if by some miracle you're playing Modern Warfare 3 and you're using this attachment and you're succeeding, it means you got lucky. Congratulations, skill-based matchmaking threw you a bone because that's the only way that you can have fun with this thing. I have suffered for like four or five matches in a row if i don't get one good luck no 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 i'm done fuck this attachment <gasps> oh. come, Tringle.